Good morning, Stepping Stones and boys and girls and everybody who has joined us this morning for our service and our worship to God. I wonder what kind of things that, you, that you've been doing um, whilst you've not been at school and whilst we've been in lockdown. I wonder if you've been doing any of these things. I wonder if you have been reading and reading something that we can all do and it's something that I particularly like to do as well. And here's a wee boy who's stuck into reading his book. I wonder if you've been baking. Now, I know initially when the lockdown started, everybody was out baking because nobody could get flour in the supermarkets. But I wonder if you've been busy baking with your mum or your dad or your gran and have been making anything nice to eat. I wonder if you've been drawing or painting or colouring in or if you've been given um, something nice and put in, doing something nice and putting it up on the wall. Or I wonder if you've been playing an instrument. Maybe you play the recorder or you play the drums or you play a tambourine or you like to sing um, along with, with music. But I also wonder if you like to play outside. So how many well, not many of us have been swimming because all the swimming pools are closed at the minute. But that's something that I like to do with my grandson um, as we like to go swimming. So I, we've really missed not being able to go swimming. But I wonder if you've been dancing um, to music or maybe to some of the tunes that we've had um, played after our children's addresses. Or maybe you like to run, to be outside. Uh, maybe you like to be chased or maybe you like to chase somebody, or maybe you just like to run really, really fast. Or the other thing is, I wonder if you've been out in your bike. Um, I know that I've been cycling along to my mum's, um, and I didn't realise it, but one, when I got back, I had a puncture. So we, I had to get a new inner tube for my bike, but I like to be out and about and playing um, outside. And I wonder if you've ever thought about it, but have you ever thought, um, do you wonder if God has a hobby? I know that the Bible doesn't tell us that God has a hobby, but if he did, do you think what it might be? What do you think God likes to do? Well, I think it might involve using a pair of these, unless he's got x-ray vision or very, very good vision, I think he might look, like to use a pair of binoculars and what do you use binoculars for? You look, use binoculars to see things that are small away in the distance. And I think God might be looking through his binoculars, looking down at us and looking at loads and loads of birds. If you use your imagination, I can see God sitting in heaven with these binoculars, looking down at us. He probably knows all the names, the individual names of all the birds. He knows um, everything about them. He knows when they're nesting or when they're flying south or north, what they're getting up to. And if you really use your imagination, I can hear him possibly saying, oh look, there's a pigeon down there, or look, there's a magpie, or look, there's some birds building their nests ready for their young babies to come along. So I wonder today if you could recognise some birds. And here I have some birds on the screen. Do you know what kind of bird this is? Now, it has, its name has got to do with one of the colours that's on it. And this bird um, is very common, comes and eats the, the fat balls from my garden, and it's a blue tit. And what about this next one? Well, this next one is very, very hard to see. This is a difficult one. Um, but this one lives in the trees and it makes a noise like this. It likes to use its bill and bang on the trees. And it's called a woodpecker. And yes, we do get them in this country. The next one, this one, um, this one actually got managed to get, one of them managed to get into the church. We did manage to get it out. And there was a family of them moved into the eaves in our hall. Um, so we waited until um, the babies had flown away and the mum and dad had flown away and it was boarded up 
after that. And this bird likes to fly in a great big flock of birds and it's called a starling. This is a beautiful bird and they, are, they tend to see them on their own, sometimes out in the countryside, sitting on a fence or a pole or high up in a tree. And this is a sparrow hawk. It's lovely. Now this bird is my particular favourite and again we see lots of these birds in our garden with a red breast and it's called a robin. Often we see them particularly on Christmas cards and things like that but it's one of my favourite birds. And then we have another bird that's kind of got a red or orangey um, breast and uh, some feathers on its back and this one again is a tiny wee bird and it flies about and it's in the garden as well and it's a chaffinch. And then we have this one. This is a very, very common bird. And its name, uh, after its colour, it's a very, very dark colour. And it's called a blackbird. And I've seen a lot of blackbirds in my garden recently. And they've been flying and moving about with the magpies in the garden recently. But what about this bird? This bird is a very, very common bird. There's hundreds of millions of these kinds of birds all over the place and this bird is called a sparrow and in every garden there will be sparrows flying about here and there and one day when Jesus was teaching his disciples and I think they're all socially distanced outside as well Jesus was teaching his disciples and he was saying to them that they should not ever be afraid and Jesus said to them, don't be afraid. When people threaten you, two sparrows are sold for a penny, but not a single sparrow falls to the ground without your father knowing it. So don't be afraid. You are more valuable to God than a whole flock of sparrows. That's how important we are to God. He knows everything about us. He knows our name, um, all the hairs on our head are counted. And if he knows every single sparrow, he knows every single human being as well. This picture was taken when I was on a boat on the Sea of Galilee when I visited the Holy Land. And one of the things that surprised me was that there were sparrows everywhere. Even when we were out on this boat in Galilee, there were sparrows who came and rested on the boat. A sparrow just seems like a common bird all over the place. And it's been said that God must have loved the common people because he made so many of them. I don't think that God sees us as common or ordinary. If he did, he would not love us in such an uncommon and an extraordinary way. The Bible says, give all your worries and cares to God for he cares about you. We are more precious to him than a whole flock of sparrows and we know how much he loves the sparrows. Let's pray now and I'd ask you to repeat the words after me. Dear God, we know that we are precious in your sight. Thank you for loving us with such an uncommon and extraordinary love. And hear us as we say together the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So I hope when you're looking out the window or you're out playing in the garden, if you see a sparrow, then think and remember how much God loves each and every single sparrow. 
And if he loves each and every single sparrow, how much more does he love me and you? Bye, and I'll see you next week. Take care.